that I don't think you can see real QVD products in the market for another five or six years because our industry, I'm not saying it was quality by accident, it wasn't QVA. Um, however, I don't think the fundamental research that would enable them to do that was not done. Now, he comes from Genentech, which is a particularly science-based company. And again, I'm not putting the others down, but their culture is slightly different. They also come from Biotech, which is also a different culture. Because if you don't know what you're doing, it usually smells or it's green. <laughs> so knowing what you're doing is very critical. I think the challenge is that, again, the biotech industry has, there are some reactions that you can't actually control. Because you just have to keep your fingers crossed and see if it's going to go or not. So I think development of technology will help, you know, something like something simple like glyphosylation. How do you control it? Um, so that will change, you know, fundamentally the instruments that we have are oxygen measurement, glucose measurement, they're, they're very limited, but that's improving. And what he did say, which I really did like, was how do we increase, how do we decrease our budget and how do we go, and I think for that to happen, you really do need a change of mindset. If we can work out how much moisture is on the moon, Surely we can make drugs or anything else, any we want, if we have a mindset which is different. Now the reason that they haven't been there is something which Helen said as well, and that was that FDA, the regulations have been a hindrance. Now, we've said we will lower their concerns, we will change our way of working. Fundamentally, all the regulators and any regulator is a reactionary organization. We are not a proactive organization. We are a reaction organization. We react to what you guys give us. So maybe you should have a go at what you give us and actually change what you give us. So, Have they been around, um, you talk about it being um, five years before you start seeing true QBD in the development process. Have the applications you've seen been uh, resulted in um, reduction in product release testing for the uh, for the submitters or have most of those applications been uh, more redundant in terms of maintaining the release testing just trying to uh, get your thoughts around whether we've, we've truly taken advantage of, of some of the besides the, the design improvement but some of the financial benefits of reduced testing you know released and improved cycle time based on that testing I have to be careful with this answer so I don't say anything which is confidential. Um, our copio tests as a critical attribute. So they, not all, but almost all, you know, it's, it's almost like a blanket. So they define dissolution, disintegration, assay content, uniformity, and appearance as the critical attributes. And I struggle with that. I have a problem with that. Luckily, I'm not in a position to be a pain. Um, so the release criteria hasn't changed much from what we have seen because most of what has come hasn't been a blunt statement by industry saying, you know what, since I understand my process, I'm going to do away with these tests. So they come and they say, well, we understand these things and we reserve the right in the future to drop this and send you a CBE 0 or a CBE 30, which ain't being effective, or inform you in another way, or they put it in a, a comparability protocol that when we have sufficient knowledge and in agreement with you, it's almost like saying, I don't want to make a commitment, I want you, the regulator, to tell me what to do. So what I have seen, the greatest that industry has really grabbed on has been the design space. And again, the reason for that has been to enable them to do changes and not send in supplements. Supplements are a major issue, both for industry and for us. So that's what they have been doing. They've, they come up with an upper limit and a lower limit whatever I do in there, I don't have to report it to you. Which again, having been on both sides of the fence, if there is a fence, um, or as some people say, having been on both the dark and the light side, I'm not saying which is which, <laughs> um, that is really not any different from the old style of process annotation. So I don't have a straight answer to you, but uh, 
بنظام است که زنیم. 